Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I want to share with you a recent release picture book that I have absolutely fallen in love with, that is Timeless by Kelly Canby. Now this gorgeous book came out right at the end of January, and I had to get my hands on a copy because Kelly Canby just does amazing work. Little Light is one of my favourite picture books that I have read over the last couple of years, and I just wanted to see what she was going to do in this story. So as I said, Timeless is written and illustrated by Kelly Canby. It is published by Fremantle Press. And I was having a look on the author's website because the blurb is not very long on the book. And I wanted to see if there was a description that I could give you guys that would explain the story before I talk about what I loved about it. So I found this on Kelly Canby's website. Emmett, whose parents turn back time to name him, is surrounded by busyness. Daddy's too busy to read stories, mum is too busy to play games, and Emmett's brother and sister are simply too busy doing nothing at all to do anything at all. What the family needs, Emmett decides, is more of what they lack, time. So he sets off to find some. He tries to catch it, because time flies, and wait for it, because time stands still. But it's not until Emmett tries to buy some time that he learns the secret, which is, if you want time, you have to make it. I love that description so much because it perfectly encapsulates what this book is all about. So as it says, Emmett is trying to find time and he keeps hearing all of these idioms about how time flies and how it stands still and how it slips through your fingers. And he just desperately wants to find time for the things that he loves and for his family. And it is very elusive, <laughs> which is relatable. Highly, highly relatable. This is a very cleverly written picture book that weaves all of these idioms into a narrative story that connects each page to the next. And it really forces us, the reader, to stop and reflect on what those idioms mean to us and how we, as individuals, find or make time or make excuses for not finding time for things. And that is a really important message in this day and age where everyone is so busy and everything is moving at a really fast pace. It's a great discussion starter of a book for, you know, how can you find time? How can you make time for the things that you love and that are passionate about? And for younger readers, even though that concept might go over their heads a little bit, doesn't mean that you shouldn't read the book to them because they'll certainly take a lot away from the story because it is beautifully written. The language is very lyrical, it flows gorgeously, and the illustrations are bright and colourful and bold and they really draw you in. For older readers, those discussion points are fantastic. It's great for unpacking that, but also this is a perfect mentor text for writing. There is amazing word choice in here, the sentence fluency and the sentence structure is fantastic, and it also has a really great sense of voice. And so when you use this with older students as a mentor text for writing, there is a lot to be gained from it. And the whole time that I was reading it, I was thinking in my head, wearing my teacher hat, you know, in a writer's notebook activity, for example, going through and listing all the idioms about time in here, and then maybe choosing a different topic for idioms and seeing how many idioms as a class or as, or as individuals students can list. And then using that as a starting point to expand on those ideas. Now, maybe that's because at the moment I'm on my writer's notebook kick for work that I'm doing at school, but I thought this would be an absolutely perfect one because it is so engaging and fun and playful with language, and I just absolutely adored it. I will leave a link to where you can purchase Timeless down in the description, as well as a link to the author's website. In the comments, I would love to know if you have read this story or if you're planning on picking it up. It is a really wonderful story that I think crosses a lot of age categories. If you wanna let me know that you're here, but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave a clock emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.